Hi guys, my name is Marcela and today I want to show you how to clean a water dispenser. Today, many homes and offices have a water dispenser and they're so convenient. You can have fresh cold water whenever you want and also hot water to make a tea. But the other day I had a cup of tea that didn't taste that good and I was wondering if it was because of the dispenser. So I opened it and I was very surprised what I saw. Today I want to show you how to clean it so you always have fresh water. Safety is always first. So first thing we're going to do is unplug the dispenser. Then we're going to take the water container out and get out all of the water that might be inside of the dispenser from both hot and cold. There are different kinds and styles of water dispenser, but basically most of them should be the same. They all should have the big bottle of water or the big container on top of a base. This base can be lift, so we can wash the inside. What happens is that when this is inside, there's always water in here. So this is touching water the whole time, making it dirty. Then we're going to take out this plastic that is inside and if you can see it got really dirty. We're going to wash it and then we're going to put it back. Whatever is inside we're going to clean and wipe as well. We're going to make a mix of warm water, a little bit of dish soap and we'll also add half cup of vinegar to disinfect the pieces. Then we're going to submerge the pieces and we're gonna start washing it so we can clean it and disinfect it. If the pieces were really dirty, then you can leave them soaking in the mix that we just made with water, vinegar, and dish soap. Well, that soaks, we're gonna clean the inside of the dispenser. For that, we're going to mix three cups of hot water and a quarter cup of vinegar. Inside, we're gonna use the soft side of the sponge. When we do this, we're not going to add any soap, just the sponge with water, and that's it. To clean the plastic pieces that are at the bottom, those cannot be removed. We're going to use a toothbrush to clean the crevices. And if the, tooth, if the toothbrush is not enough, then we can also use a Q-tip to go all the way to the back of each little piece. Now we're going to pour the mix that we just did with water, hot water, and vinegar, and we're going to leave it soaking for about 10 minutes. Now that we left this soaking for about 10 minutes, we're going to clean and we're going to use the same water with vinegar to clean the inside. Be very careful because the water might be still too hot. Then we're going to drain the water from both cold and hot so we can clean both tubes. Now that we drain all the water through the pipes, we are going to give the final wipe down from the inside and we are going to add hot water so we can drain this again and get the odor and flavor of the vinegar. We're going to leave it for about 10 minutes again so the whole thing can get really clean in the inside. Then we're going to put the pieces back together. And we're going to 
put the bottle of water or the water container on top of it. Now we're going to wipe down the whole area from the outside, including this tray. This tray we're going to wash it with soap, water, and vinegar, or you can also put it in the dishwasher. When we wipe out the outside, we can also use a toothbrush to clean all the little crevices from the pipe. To remove the dirt and the lint that is in between, we can use a painter's brush or we can also vacuum it, whatever is easier for you. Now we're going to put back the bottle on top of it. And that's it guys, with these simple steps you're going to make sure that your water dispenser is always clean and working efficiently. If you liked this video please give it a like, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends and I would so much appreciate if you let me know what would you like me to clean next. But before I go, I want to ask you, do you have a water dispenser? If so, do you have it at home or do you have it at your office? Or maybe both let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next week